If God be for you, who can be against you? What a can gang, it's your boy Camden and I'm back with another video. Yeah, I guess that's the intro now. I really didn't know what I was about to say, but I guess that flowed, that flowed naturally. Bitch, yeah. Y'all probably wondering where the hell I'm at, but... <laughs> When I told y'all that, you know, new things just been happening in life. New things have been happening in life. This is my new place. But I'm not giving a house tour. And I really don't know if I am. I kind of agree with the air. You do a house tour and bitches find out where you stay and I don't, I don't fuck with that. I thought about doing this video, but you know, I'm prayed up. I will be washing my dishes first and then I'm going to be cooking myself some breakfast. While doing that, I'm going to be giving a story time, like I said. Oh, why well, I got fired from my job. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these dishes. Like I said, I will be doing the story time in between. Like, I don't know if it's gonna really last throughout this whole video, cause like I said, I'm gonna be washing dishes and I'm gonna be cooking. But I will soon see. So as y'all see, I just posted a video. I told y'all I'm back to the YouTube scene. Like I said, I'm gonna be back on my content shit. So it was real. Family for style to do a story time while doing it. And then if you watched the video yesterday, for the scene that I said I was gonna give y'all a story time on that anyway. Her bitch like me don't say that. A real bitch like me don't say that. So yeah, I'm waiting on this water to run. Then I'm gonna my dishes in there now. Cause I wanna start with a clean kitchen. Like I want all my dishes in before I start cooking. I need to be fresh and spotless when I start. So yes, I'm experiencing the living alone life. This is all my space, 700 square feet. Roll it. Thank you. I'm getting used to it, like it's feeling homey. Like I've been here, I say three weeks. It's getting homey as I stay here. All right, so I got fired for my job. But bus. 30, it's a restaurant. And I'm not gonna say no names because this is a YouTube video, this can get way bigger. I'm not taking this down. You would get why I'm saying I'm not taking this one down. I did a favor with the last take down. I'm not taking this down, so I'm not gonna say no names. Basically gonna tell you what happened because even still throughout the store, I need everybody to know. I wasn't mad, I wasn't sad. I was supposed to play in some faces like my face is playing, you know? I worked at both that three. I was a server. I really, that was my first serving job. I really did enjoy it, guys. I really can't say, like, I like my coworkers. Still love my coworkers. I'ma miss them dearly, some of them. Um, <laughs> really did enjoy it. Like, the money was good. That was the first time. You know, I've seen money come in that fast, you know? I used to fast food, and then I worked at one gas station. But for the most part, I was used to fast food. You don't see money come in that fast, like, as you do as a server. So, I thought everything was good. I can't say I have been late a few times. But my thing is, with that, they knew at some point uh, of the week I was gonna be late, but they also knew that every day I was coming. I promise y'all, the two years that I was there, I called in maybe two, three times. Max four, I promise you. But in two years, bitches call in four times in two weeks. Like, let's be real. Everybody ain't coming to work like me. And I acknowledge that. Like, I'm not the bitch that's not gonna give myself my tens. Cause I'm gonna give myself tens every time before anybody else can. I am. I had went to work on a Monday morning, and that same Monday I had a lash appointment. So I go to work at 10:45. I was late, so I got there like 11:05. I don't call because they know I'm coming. Like I said, like they know for sure I'm coming. The only, the one time I had to call in was like a Saturday. It was like a Saturday night. I got fucked up, and I had to be at work at a Sunday morning. Like I was so fucked up that previous night that. My phone went dead in the middle of the night. I threw up in the middle of the night. You know, I was just fucked up. Like, so, I didn't, I wasn't able to make it to work. And I was in a different city. That was one of the few times. Which still wasn't a problem at the time either. Because when I did call in, she was like, just go back to sleep. Because I had told her the situation. And that's what her response was. So, it wasn't a problem then either. It wasn't never a problem. But, you know, neither here or there, I guess. But you know, stuff like that. So, I usually don't call because like I said, y'all know I'm coming. One of the most reliable is y'all got it. Let's be real. That day I came in, I was like, hey, I got a nice appointment at four. Mind you, yes, my appointment was at five, 
but shift changes at four. I don't have time for at four. I still got a couple tables. I'm trying to rush Pam out, trying to transfer them to different people. And you know, in my appointment at five, like no, I still gotta go home here, take a shower, then drive back to my mom's house where I do lashes. Like no, I'm not gonna be unprofessional and late for my appointment when I really don't have to, especially since we slow in here. I will say that day we had a little pop, it was Labor Day. Around like 2.30, 2.5, 3. Y'all finna let me go. I didn't realize that it was Labor Day. Well, I did realize it was Labor Day, but it wasn't clicking that it was Labor Day bank clothes. So I said my appointment was at core because I was like, okay, I gotta get off, go to the bank, go home, take a shower, then still drive to go do lashes. I was like, I just wanna make sure I have enough time to do all that and I'm not unprofessionally late to my appointment. So I said my appointment was at core. My manager was like, we got doubles. At the job, when they make first cuts, if you're a double and you want to take a break, you're going to be the one that gets cut first. But it was three doubles. It was two on bar side. I was on diamond side, so those doubles didn't matter. It was one double on diamond side where I was at, but she was a shirt. You can make cuts to the people that's not doubles, but still came in, you know? Especially since I told you ahead of time, when I got there that I had an appointment, you know? I just think of stuff like that. Like, and especially since I don't do it often, the problem is supposedly my manager, my other manager, she said that we had a talk. She wanted me to call in, like call in to the day and be like, hey, I can't make it because I got a last appointment to do. I told her, I don't think it's fair for me or you for me to have to call in when I just have to leave an hour early. Like, I don't want to miss all that money just to leave an hour early and you shouldn't have to miss a person just for me to leave an hour early. It makes sense to me, don't it make sense to y'all? You know, I told her last time I was like, I don't agree with that, like, no, I'm not gonna call in. Like, that just shows like, you're telling me to call in and I don't even wanna call in. Like, that just shows like, baby, I wanna come to work. Like, you know, I'm a reliable person. Around like three o'clock, I'm still not cut for my appointment. But I told them my appointment was at four. So in my head, I'm like, oh, so y'all really just trying to play in my face or something? Because I told you my appointment was at four. You know in your head, you still ain't cut no doubles. So you know in your head, you can cut me since I told you I had an appointment. But you obviously don't care. Other manager, she kept walking past the cut board like she was not just cutting nobody. And I think she had already asked the doubles on the level where they taking breaks and all of us didn't know they were straight. You still ain't care to cut me. So I'm like, okay. So I'm looking around, still no cuts or whatever, it's like 3.15. So I go up there to our little host, and I'm like, hey baby, close my section. And if somebody asks you, I did it. This is like the one I told her. She did it, and my section was closed. I got three tables when I did that. So I'm in my head, I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and pay these tables out. And then I'm gonna tell them, hey, like, remember I had my appointment? I went up there and closed my section, because I had to go, so. I'm about to go, you know, I was gonna do that. Was it right? No, but was it right for y'all to totally disregard my appointment? You just wasn't gonna let me go. You was gonna let me stay to four, and I said my appointment was at four. Okay, I look up after, you know, paying out a couple tables. I see that I'm sad again. I'm looking around, I'm like, how am I sad again? And I closed my section. So I go up there to the manager that just came in at three. Say, hey baby, I know you just came in, you don't know what's going on, but I told them when I came in, I had an appointment at four, and they still didn't cut me at 3.15, so I cut myself. And then now I look back up at 3.37, I have another table section back open. So y'all just really don't care about my appointment. I'm about to go. I said, so y'all gonna have to figure out what y'all about to do about this table, because I'm not getting it. Was that right? No. Was it right for them to do it? No. I could say, ain't nobody right in this situation. I could definitely say that. And I, I'll be all right to say that. It ain't hurt my feelings, not one bit. I just didn't find that cool. I'm not gonna let you do that in my family. You gotta be crazy as hell to think Camden was gonna do that. After I told my manager that, I seen the other manager that kept walking past the host board, and I couldn't me. I was like, so what's up, like, what's going on? She was like, the manager said you can go, but come talk to her tomorrow. I said, I'm off tomorrow, so I have to see. I'm finna go see if she wanna talk to them, because I'm off tomorrow, so let me see. She in there talking. I'm waiting patiently on my phone, because baby, I'm, I can wait. What I'm finna say is gonna get said. She was like, do you need me? I was like, yeah, I heard you needed me. You said you wanted me to come up here and talk to you tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, do you wanna talk today? She was like, no, I don't wanna talk today. When you work again? Thursday morning, she was like, 
Okay, you can either talk to me Tuesday or Wednesday. I got an event Thursday, and if you want to talk Friday, I'll have to delete your shift Thursday. I was like, I'll see you Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm leaving at this point. I go, I'm leaving at like four o'clock. I put me at five, so, you know, that's all I needed, like, but even still, since I got set at 3.37, y'all, I still would have been there at four if I would have been taking care of them. Like, 3.37, by 3.40, I'm gonna have their drinks. By 3.45, they're gonna be ready to order. I'm putting it in. It takes 15 minutes for them to make it, period. That's four o'clock. And then it's gonna take y'all 20, 25 minutes to eat. And then I'm still gonna have to clean my section, which is 4.30, 4.45. I'm walking out. 10 minutes left to my appointment, still ain't showered. Fuck no, I'm not doing that. I like my routines how I like my routines. I don't like to get off and go lash in my work clothes. Bitch, you know, I just got through walking with food on my shoulder, handling drinks, drinks spilling on me. No, I wanna go take a shower. Like, I wanna feel fresh. That day, um, I left at four. When I was leaving, I was like, you know what? I know exactly what this means for. Like, this meeting is for you to feel like you can say anything you want to me in the meeting. And if I say anything, fly back, you're gonna fire me. I honestly didn't think I was gonna get fired. I thought it was just gonna be, you know, a meeting so you could talk fly to me and I gotta try to watch my mouth. But no, baby. I honestly already didn't like her. So I knew for sure that it wasn't gonna work for her to be trying to have a meet to talk crazy to me. And I'm supposed to watch my mouth because don't boo. I brought my mom. I told my mom, I was like, you off? She was like, yep. I was like, okay, well, you gonna come with me because, yeah, she want me to have a meeting with her. You know, I don't know what this meeting could be about this girl, what she want with me. My mama went with me. We decided to go Tuesday. I brought my mom. We walk in. She's standing up doing this. I'm gonna say something, but you know, you know, I'm gonna watch my mouth. But hey, this is my mom. My mom was like, nice to meet you. She gonna look up and down, nice to meet you too. Like, girl, don't do that because, girl, you lucky we in this building because, baby, you're gonna watch how you hold my mom. Are you mad? Like, was it really not nice to meet her? You didn't expect to see her. You thought she was gonna be able to talk to me crazy and you be able to say whatever you want to. That's definitely what you thought, boo. But she was like, hold on, I'll be right back. And so she got to the back or whatever. I see a manager come out. He talking to me, blah, blah, blah. And then he summoned up and was like, she'll be out in a minute. She finally come out. She come back out with the manager that was talking to me. She sat down, she sat in front of me, which my mom was sitting over there. She was telling me, blah, blah, blah. She brought up me being late. But my thing is, y'all, I promise you, I've been late so many times, so many times. She had five of them motherfuckers on there in my two years of being there. That's how I know she was pulling shit out their ass. Cause five of them, girl, girl please. Y'all, it's not even all about the five. I promise you on the sheet, every five said no action took him. Like, so then what did you want me to do? I thought it was okay. So I promise you every morning I was like, Okay, I got a little extra time. Whatever I wanted to do, because I know y'all didn't care. She brought that up. She brought up the situation when I went up there and cut myself. And then she brought up this little situation. I literally ran somebody else's food, dropped it off, came back around. I started to make a sweet tea. And then Lewis sent me a voice memo. So I went over there to listen to it with my cousin. And then she told me, ah, Camden, your food is up. Like, come on. Girl, I promise you, like, the screen is half. Like. We're not even that busy, like, we got a little business, but I'm not in the weeds. Don't treat me as such. Over there, I was like, how long this tray been right here? I was like, no, not long, because I just ran this other one. She was like, no, it was actually ready when I seen you was over there playing. After she said that, I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, because I know exactly what you're doing. Like, you see how fast she got crumpled me? She want me to turn up on her so she could be able to find me because I clapped back at her. So that's why I just said, oh, to make you look dumb in a motherfucking face. Even though she still got what she wanted, you know, I really don't give a damn. God, this guy, and he is so good. So, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I figured you was gonna bring that up. Oh, where am I putting this? Look, y'all, I'm just. I smoked before I got over here, so excuse me, y'all. I need to put my bacon on first. Did I already tell y'all I'm cooking breakfast? I think I did. Hey, wife, take the bacon out. In the restaurant, that bitch, they be hating on tags. Gotta have tags. Bitch is done in the heavy down bags. It's sad. Burn baby class. You in the drip that I already had. Brought up that um, running food situation. She brought up me being late. And then she brought up 
me going to cut myself situation. She bring it on and uh, Captain had to say, since I gotta leave early, it seems like my business is interfering with the job. And I was like, it's nowhere near interfering with the job. My schedules are low key kind of matched to both of my schedules. It just be a little off sometimes. So every now and then, I have to leave a little early, just like I was saying. But I'm saying, an hour every blue moon? Like, girl, be real. One of the problems. She didn't like me, y'all, because I didn't kiss her ass. And so I had to basically, I was like, what are you trying to say? She was like, uh, 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 we're going to have to part ways. Bitch, why you just couldn't fucking say that when you pulled me in? When I came in the office yesterday, asking, do you want to talk now? You could have said, yeah, I think it's time for us to part ways. And I would have said, okay, and walked out. Girl, you could have saved my time and my mother's gas from us coming up here. I was like, okay. She was like, okay. I was like, okay. Then I grabbed my purse, we left. My mom went back in there and asked a question, but you know, that's my mom. Then, you know, the children have the fun. <laughs> Always said when I worked there, I said, she is so phony, she is so fake. But if I ever got fired or had to quit in a bad way, I was gonna go to Facebook and tell everybody her true colors. I said that when I worked there. I'm not even thinking about getting fired. I said, if that ever happened, I was. I promise you, the restaurant has so much hidden in it. Why not a bitch that don't give a fuck tell the truth that goes on in it? When she fired me, I did exactly that. I went to Facebook. I was on the phone with my cousin. I was like, I'm going to turn Facebook up today. I made a post. I said, hey guys, I just left a meeting at Bubba's 33. It's a wonderful Tuesday. I just got fired and I ran through there. Like I just told everything that happened in the store. No lies. I didn't bash her. I didn't slander her. I told everything that happened in the store. And I don't have to lie. Y'all say it is bashing, but y'all are literally taking away the fact that the shit happened. Oh, it's bashing her. I don't know how to do that. Just cause she ain't ever did no fuck shit in your fucking face don't mean it didn't fucking happen. There's other victims that spoke out, a lot of them, that said that she done did some shit to them. So y'all bitches get off her motherfucking dick and open y'all motherfucking eyes. I don't have to motherfucking bash nobody. I told the truth. Hello. Truth motherfucking hurts. The shit motherfucking blew up. I left it up for 12 hours. It had like 390 some reaction. It had 300 and some comments, 200 shares. Like I said, I was gonna turn Facebook up. I said, oh, she think this is her city. <laughs> oh, she think this is her city. No, ma'am. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Facebooks were deactivated. Yeah. People were blocked. Trollers trolled. It was lit. It was lit. Literally, because people was like, damn, like, fuck, that's some fucked up ass shit. It is. Thank you for the people that opened your eyes. I really appreciate it because some buffoonery ass bitches can't open their eyes to see that. Maybe this shit actually did happen if multiple people are speaking out saying the same shit or saying they different stories saying what she done did to them. Y'all are fucking both of us. Y'all just mad because bitch, y'all think everything belongs under a motherfucking rug. No, baby. I'ma pull it up under the rug, sweep it in your motherfucking face. I see they got a couple groups, like, you know, just to keep up with the whole city. One had 45,000 people in it, one had 21,000 people in it. I posted it in both of them. For some people that was so on her dick. Good luck in another job, posting that, blah, blah, blah. God did. Two days later, boo. Two days later, boo. God did. Employed. Once again, come bring me your money, bitch. The first guy did. I'm a god fan, man. I don't know what y'all bitches do. I don't know what devil spirits y'all put upon people. But I'm a god fan, man. If God be for you, who can be against you? Hello. Right now I'm preheating my oven, putting my bacon in there. And then I'm just gonna have pancake bacon eggs. And just in case I run into some people that got something to say, are oh, you a god fan, man? Are you bacon? I am a god fan, man. And you know, every father knows my spirit. He knows that I just actually learned that, you know, even back then it was a sin. But you know, he knows my heart. He knows that I continue to try to serve him each and every day. And he also knows I ain't got to explain shit to y'all, bitch. Why the fuck did I just try to explain that? Hey man, Lord forgive me, but you know, you, you know I ain't got to explain nothing to them. Preheat my oven. And back to the story time, I really think that's it. Like, a lot of people were trolling her. I could really just talk about the comments. There were a lot of comments that was like, 
come out and yes, we're gonna jump you. <laughs> One of them was like, at this point, let's all just meet at Bubba's. They was like, bitch, we finna start a ride. <laughs> Then some people were tagging her saying, nah, come on and own up to your stuff. Cause as soon as I posted the shit, I tagged her stuff. Oh, girl, you must know that was coming or something. The comments were definitely trolling. Like, the comments had me so dead. What I'm saying, I remember when she worked with me at Cheddar's, she fired me cause I had on the wrong shoes. I was a kid, I didn't have any money to fuck. <laughs> I bitch Asia commented, she told me some. Yeah, she did the same thing to me. She, I was supposed to have a meeting with her, but then I had looked in and I was just taking off the schedule. Yeah, she knew she didn't want to come talk and meet with a real he bitch like me because she knew I was going to run through her for real. <laughs> that bitch is so unserious. Yeah, let me go to the punk and read y'all some funny comments. When I say funny, somebody comment said worst manager ever hands down. Right, a lot of people were coming out, y'all. The thing is, so you just going to ignore all these people that came out and said something? Not all these people lying. Girl, girl, girl. People need to open their motherfucking eyes. Oh, and I also got another motherfucking message. And to any bitch that said they don't fuck with me because of what I did, hey, come comment on this video and ask me, do I give a fuck? I'm gonna write your message and I'm gonna come in and say, I don't. And I'm telling you right now, I don't. I don't give a fuck if y'all fuck with me or not. Y'all are not gonna whoop me. Y'all are not gonna check me. So I just advise y'all keep y'all fuck with to y'all too. And keep my names out of your mouth. Hey, don't make me. I just want like a couple. I don't want the name. I'm really mad because I did look at the vanilla, but I didn't pick it up. I put vanilla in my pancake mix. Ooh. Y'all, should I cut up some Oreos and put them in my pancakes? I'm doing that, bitch. Ask me, did I put the Oreos in there? I'm gonna make some regular ones though, just like, you know, for regular, but you know. In case these fuck up, but that sounds good. That sounds good. I'm really excited because y'all get used to seeing me for the whole rest of this month. I have to post content in a way. That's why I got back on my Zoom yesterday, you know, posted that video that I've been having in the vlog for a little bit. And you know, that's why I'm making content now. Um, I posted my lashes today for today's content. But I'm recording this today as well. Get that put out tomorrow for content. Cause this situation is still fresh, y'all. I got fired Tuesday. Today only Friday, so, you know, me and Lewis are doing it. We have to, you know, post content for the rest of the month. And if we miss more than three days, three strikes you out. You can't smoke for a week. That's our punishment. I feel like that's gonna make us get a move on things considering the fact, you know, we love that's all. I really wanted to come back and do some more YouTube anyway. This is definitely, you know, the way to help me. I need a bigger bowl. Oh, it's coming on a little long though. You know, you gotta look at them, look at them. I don't know, I wasted that much time. That's why you do these things in the sink, y'all, because I know I'm going to get in there. I left it up only for 12 hours, literally. It was blowing up, like, so bad. Somebody texted me and said, people were literally texting her, saying they were going to come to her house. And I was like, whoa, people were trolling so bad. I think our batter is at a good mix, good texture, so it's still got that thickness. It got that, you know, enough not too thick. And that's about it for this story time, because after, like I said, after 12 hours, I took it down. I was like, I'm done giving this tired hoe attention. Some people in the comments saying they're going to report her to HR. I said in the post, I was like, there's no point. Her boss is best friends with HR, like, and her boss loves her. That's the thing. She has a good way of putting on a fake face. The people that kiss her ass, she's really good to them, I will say. But if you, she don't like you, she's a real fuck girlfriend. And that's just that on that. I'm waiting on my, should I go ahead and cook my pancakes with y'all? I didn't realize I still had some stuff on. I'll probably, you know, just get on back on the camera just to, um, you know, show my meal. But I just wanted to, you know, tell that story time and, you know, prepare my meal on here at all at the same time because I told y'all that was the story time that I had to say and so, yeah.
Well, thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna get back on here and show y'all the meal when it's done. And then that's probably when I'll say my outro, outro for real. Y'all should have seen my face when I realized I didn't get on here and record my plate. I literally realized when I was throwing my plate away. But luckily, my Snapchat, I recorded on Snapchat. So I'm gonna upload that video. But thank y'all guys for watching, as always. I'm so glad to be back, like I said in the last video. It really does feel refreshing. I hope to continue seeing you guys here with me during this new journey of me coming back to the YouTube world. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Bye, Kim Gang.